everybody and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We are going to be trying a really fun watercolor technique today um, and this is essentially the pattern you want to achieve with a pencil so I'm going to show you how to quickly draw that on the back. You have your main bud and then you can start off with painting maybe four or five large petals that are sort of um, really wobbly in shape. I guess that's the best way to, to describe it. Sort of like that. They sort of all flare out and meet at the center. And then with your um, next layer, you can have them overlapping. So sort of like this, like that, like this. And you just keep doing that with as many layers as you want. And I've just lightly erased mine just so that it doesn't show through the watercolor. Um, but you're going to need a paper towel, a loose paper towel for this. Um, so what we're going to do is um, take pink. Oh, and by the way, the inspiration behind this uh, technique I will link them in the description. I forget her name. Um, everyone has very interesting usernames on the internet, so um, I never remember them, but I'll make sure to link her in the description. Um, so you wanna pick up some very watered down red or pink uh, watercolor, and you want to choose one of the shapes that you drew, because I know they're sort of overlapping, but I'm gonna choose this first one here. And you're just going to fill it in with this super, super, super watered down pigment that you have. Try not to erase your lines too much, your pencil lines, because they'll be hard to see. And now, really quickly, you want to switch over to a liner brush and quickly just line the outer edge of this uh, petal that you painted. So this should be very pigmented. Like so. And now really quickly, you want to grab your paper towel and pick up that pigment. sort of so that you have an effect that looks like that. Okay. While that is completely drying, we're gonna repeat the exact same thing with the next petal. Um, so I'm just trying to see what I drew here. Um, Okay, I think it was this. Now again, we quickly switch to our liner brush and outline. Woo, that one spread out quite a bit. By the way, all the tools that I use, as always, are linked in the description of this video. And once again, quickly dab off. I'm gonna just rip my paper towel because it was way too big and bulky.
See, this is a little bit too dark and you definitely want to avoid that, but it's already dry, so I can't really do anything about it. That's why you have to work really, really quickly with this. And I am just going to finish this layer. I think you get the point and then I'll show you um, the next step. Okay, so now we've got sort of the first layer done and you really want to make sure that everything is completely dry before you move on to the second layer. Alright, so the second layer is exactly the same as the first. You're just uh, following your little pencil marks along your second layer of petals. So I have said this before in other tutorials, but um, for those that haven't watched those that I've said this in, I'll say it again. Um, most of my tutorials when I'm painting something or showing you guys how to paint something, it's most of the time my first time painting it as well. Um, and when I see really cool photos or paintings on the internet I usually just see a random picture that I saw on just some random site so I don't have a video tutorial to go off of um, and so a lot of the times when I see this stuff it's sort of trial and error as I am showing you how to do it in a tutorial uh, so Sometimes it doesn't work out and you never see that tutorial <laughs> released. Um, but a lot of the times the, the things that I paint do work out. Uh, so I would say that if you see a painting or you see something that you really like, give it a try. Just look at the photo and Try to break it down into simple simple steps like what would the artist have painted first and what would their reasoning be for painting that and then try and replicate it yourself and you might be very very surprised so i'm really glad that this is actually working out um, a lot better than i had anticipated because a couple weeks ago I saw this beautiful beautiful orchid painting but it was done using a very specific technique like it had to have been um, I just saw a photo there there was no video and so I tried to replicate it based on how I thought the artist would have painted it and it was just a failure it looked really bad um, so you guys will never see that orchid So once again, you're just repeating the exact same steps. And because it is my first time doing this, uh, one thing I would change in my instructions in the beginning is not to make your pencil marks very light because they are really difficult to see as soon as you start painting over them in the layers. Um, and given the fact that you are going over it with a highly pigmented color with a liner brush, uh, it would kind of cover up the pencil mark to begin with. Like don't make them very incredibly harsh, but just uh, don't make them very, very light and hardly visible like I did. Make them just a normal, like if you were writing with a pencil, a normal darkness. Now you can certainly paint a lot more layers than I'm painting here. I'm, I'm basically just doing 
uh, one overlapping layer, so two layers in total. Um, but you can do even more than that. You can do three, you can do four. Um, I just really like this delicate look. And in the future, I might try one that has many, many more layers, but I'm happy with this one. Plus, I think you guys would get bored <laughs> if you saw me doing a third layer because I think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory after the first one. So the last thing that you want to do is just fill in the, the little green bud there with the stem. And it's as easy as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this really cool technique. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, uh, check out some of my other videos, and I will see you in the next one.